guys, today we're going to be drawing a llama. I know you guys probably saw earlier some of the pictures and things like that and the drawing guide is attached so if this video is moving too fast you can always pause it and continue when you're ready or you can just use the drawing guide if you would prefer to do that. Um, so how we're going to start, we're going to start with our sweet little llama face in the middle, not, not right in the middle, we're going to move it over a little bit to the left, remember making um, your hands and the one that makes an L is the left. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put my face right here. I'm going to start with the eyes. Now you guys can draw whatever kind of eyes that you want. Um, mine are going to be closed like it's a sleepy llama because they're so tired from carrying all that stuff on their backs. So right about here I'm going to do two, they look like little smiley faces. And I'm going to go ahead and put some eyelashes on mine. You do not need to put eyelashes on yours if you don't want to. But both boy and girl llamas have eyelashes. Sorry to break it to you guys. But what we're going to do after the eyelashes is we're going to go down in the middle here and we're going to put a little nose and it's going to look like a V. So underneath those eyes, I'm going to put a V for my little llama nose. And then underneath we'll put the mouth. One curved line this way and one curved line that way. That both come from the bottom of that V. After we get that part done, I'm going to draw an oval shape around that to be the muzzle of our llama. Okay, and I'm just using a crown for this, but you guys can use Sharpie or Mark or whatever you guys want. Um, and so after that, what we're going to do is we're going to start making the head. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, I'm going to move you closer. Ha, ah, there you go. Too close for me, but there you go. You can see the picture a little bit better. And so we're going to go above the eyes here, and we're going to draw a straight line. And then on the edge of each of those straight lines, we're going to draw some ears. Now, they've got kind of long ears, almost like bunny rabbits. Now, llamas are known for having really long necks. And so now we're going to come down vertically from those lines. And we can make it a little bit bumpy because llamas are fuzzy. Some have curly hair, some have straight long hair. This is going to have curly hair. We're going to bring it down a little bit. Okay, so he's got a nice long neck. And we're going to get to do lots of fun things with this extra space that we're drawing. After your neck, what we're going to do now is we're going to draw to the side. So this is going to be horizontal. We've been doing vertical lines for our neck. And then we're going to come across the back of our llama. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. We're going to go almost over to the other side of our paper. And then we're going to draw a little tail and come down. On this side, we're going to draw down and then we're going to come across. Now it's going to look like our llama is sitting on the ground on top of his legs for right now, but we are going to be adding some legs to this. This is just the easiest way I know to show you how to draw a llama body and we draw the legs separate. So after you have your llama body, now we're going to go in and put the legs. Now a llama has four different legs, right? So two in the front, two in the back. So we're going to start up here, right, right about where his neckline is, and I'm going to draw a little puffy leg that goes down. Look like little peg legs right now. One, They're almost like oval shapes. Two, and then I put a space in here. We're going to move to the back, right behind his little tail here. We're going to do one, two. Yay, okay. So now we have our llama. And now is the fun part. You guys get to decorate it. You guys can put all sorts of things on your llama. Um, whenever they have things on their back, they usually have these really pretty um, blankets to go underneath the saddles. And so you guys can take your crown or your drawing material. The paper's falling down. Okay. You can take your crown or your um, marker and you can draw a curved line. It can be square if you want to. I think I'm going to do a curve on mine. It goes almost to the back. And then I'm going to draw some other lines on the inside. I just kind of follow that same curve. Maybe a couple. One, two. And then you can add a different design in here. You can put hearts on there. You can put stripes. You can put polka dots. Um, I think I'm going to make my little flower design. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to put a half circle or a semicircle. And then I'm going to draw some petals. And they don't have to be perfect. You can see that I put just a little tiny skinny piece of petal here so it looks like it wraps around to the other side. So it gives it more form, making it feel like it's more three-dimensional. 
So, um, I like how that's turning out. I may add just a couple more things to it before we start adding um, tassels and um, a harness for him and then some things on his back. So the tassels that go around the neck, they can be draped kind of like our polar bear, our winter bear. And so I'm just gonna draw some lines that go across. And I'm gonna put some little pom-poms on it, but you can also put tassels, and I'll show you what that looks like on one of my other examples. Um, just like those little string of lights, we're using our knowledge from our previous experience with drawing that bear. And that's good, you're using, you're using your brain. Got a couple things there. Okay, so I've got my tassels, and I'm gonna draw um, the little bridle around his nose. I'm just drawing another circle around his muzzle that's slightly bigger. And I'm gonna draw some lines that go to the side to be his muzzle. So this is what my llama is looking like right now. Looking pretty fancy. Now on top of this fancy llama, you can put anything you want to. You could put pillows, you could put um, a vase full of flowers, a cactus, you could put a bowl of goldfish up there. You can put anything you want. Um, I'm gonna put something simple. I'm gonna do a little cactus on him. So I'm gonna put a little pot because I don't want him to get stuck by it. So I'm just gonna do like a U with a rectangle up at the top. I'm gonna put a fun cactus in there. A simple way to draw a cactus is to draw a line that goes up and curves over. Just like his head is kind of that shape. And then I'm gonna draw something that comes out to the side. And then maybe one up a little bit higher. Okay, so I could decorate this pot. I could put more tassels around my cactus, which would be kind of funny. Um, I think I'm just gonna put some V's on it to make it look spiky. But remember, you guys can put whatever you want on top of your um, llama. It can be funny. It can be like a giant hamburger or a piece of pizza. It could be um, a teddy bear or a giant heart. You know what, I'm gonna put a heart on my cactus pot. Ooh, I like that. So after you get your drawing done, then you're gonna wanna go back in with markers or crayons or paint to design your llama. So you can make, um, your llama doesn't have to be white, it doesn't have to be gray or brown. It could be a rainbow llama, how fun would that be? If you have extra time, I would love for you guys to create a background. The easiest way to make a background is to start with the horizon line. So our llama is gonna be in the foreground, that means the front of our picture and our background is going to be behind. So there will be a, um, some overlapping involved. But if you draw a line behind his little legs, or even up here, it's up to you where you want that horizon line to be. Um, but you'll wanna draw and then skip over your llama legs or your llama body. And it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line because llamas aren't normally walking inside on tile where it's perfectly straight. They're usually outside. You draw some grass or some gravel or rocks. And an easy background would be mountains because these llamas in Peru are usually in um, mountainous regions where it's hard for people to um, get by by car. So I'm just gonna draw a bumpy line over here to look a little bit like mountains. You can put some snow on them if you want to because they're really high. And then I'm gonna draw a sunshine up here. Okay. I feel like my picture looks so much better with the background, but don't do that if you don't have time. I want you to spend most of your time on your lovely llama. I'm going to paint and color mine in and I'll take a picture at the end. I can't wait to see yours.